Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, radical equation uh, square root of 7x minus uh, 1 plus the square root of 7x plus 2 equal to the square root of x plus 1 plus uh, square root of uh, x plus 4. And we are going to solve uh, this equation for uh, x values. And finally, we are going to check the solution for any extraneous uh, solutions. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step. Let me go ahead and label this given equation as our equation number one. And in this video, I am going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And since we are going to solve for x, one of the option is to take the square on both sides and then solve for x. However, this uh, option is going to be very hectic uh, and cumbersome. So therefore, we are going to take a different uh, route. Let's focus on these uh, radicates. This one, this one inside this uh, square roots, all of them. Let me go ahead and copy them down. Let me write down uh, 7x uh, minus 1 and then minus this other one, 7x uh, plus uh, 2 equal to on the right hand side, I can write uh, x plus 1 minus x plus 4. And in this next step, I took care of these negative signs. I distributed them across the board. And now we can see this 7x and negative 7x is gone. And here x and negative x is gone as well. So we are ended up on the left hand side as a negative 3 equal to negative 3 on the right hand side and now we can see the left hand side uh, is indeed equal to the right hand side so this is a true statement so therefore we are going to manipulate uh, this uh, equation and now before we proceed let me show you one uh, fact x uh, could be written as uh, square root of uh, x uh, whole uh, square it doesn't make any difference uh, whatsoever and we are going to apply this uh, property on this uh, equation. So therefore, uh, this 7x minus 1 could be written as square root of 7x minus 1 whole square minus uh, the next, uh, this term could be written as, uh, I can write uh, 7x plus 2 and then uh, whole square equals to and likewise, uh, we are going to manipulate the right hand sides as well, as you can see over here. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a square minus b square could be written as uh, a minus b times uh, a plus b. We are going to apply this identity on both sides of this equation. And we can see that this uh, is the difference of two squares. So therefore, the left hand side could be written as a square root of uh, 7x uh, minus uh, 1 minus uh, square root of uh, 7x uh, plus uh, 2 times likewise I'm going to write down 7x uh, minus 1 plus uh, square root of uh, 7x uh, plus uh, 2 equals to and likewise the right hand side could be written as the product of the difference uh, and the sum and here's our next step let's focus uh, on this uh, factor uh, square root of uh, 7x minus 1 plus the square root of 7x uh, plus uh, 2 and now let's recall our equation uh, number one we can see that uh, this uh, square root of 7x minus 1 plus square root of uh, 7x plus 2 which is same as uh, this one could be written as uh, square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x plus 4. So therefore, I'm going to replace uh, this part uh, by this uh, right hand side one. So this could be written as square root of uh, x uh, plus 1 plus the square root of uh, x uh, plus 4. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have replaced uh, this part uh, by this uh, right hand side uh, over here. And now we can see that these uh, factors are in common on both uh, sides. And now in this uh, next step, I'm going to divide both sides by square root of x plus 1 uh, 
plus uh, square root of x plus 4 and we can see that this factor cancels out with this factor likewise uh, this factor cancels out with this one so therefore we are ended up with this part on the left hand side let me go ahead and write down uh, square root of uh, 7x uh, minus 1 minus uh, square root of 7 x plus 2 equals to on the right hand side I'm going to write down this part which is square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x plus 4 so therefore we are ended up with this simple equation and here I have copied it down nicely let me call this our equation number 2 and now we are ended up with these uh, two equations equation 1 and equation 2 and now we are going to add uh, these uh, two equations and when we add these two equations this part cancels out with this one on the right hand side uh, this cancels out with this one so therefore on the left hand side we are going to add uh, these uh, two radicals so that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, square root of uh, 7x uh, minus 1 is going to be equal to this uh, plus this is going to give us 2 times uh, square root of uh, x uh, plus 1 and now let's go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 2 so therefore we ended up with the square root of uh, 7x uh, minus 1 equal to the square root of uh, x uh, plus uh, 1 let me go ahead and undo this square by taking a uh, squares on uh, both uh, sides and we can see that this square and square root is gone likewise this is gone as well so therefore we ended up with the 7x uh, minus 1 equal to x uh, plus uh, 1 and now let me go ahead and move this uh, x on the left hand side and at the very same time i'm going to move this uh, negative 1 on the right hand side as well so therefore this could be written as 7x minus x equal to 1 plus 1 so the left hand side is going to give us 6x equals to 2 let's go ahead and divide both sides by 6 to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be if we reduce the right hand side that is going to give us 1 divided by 3 so thus our x value turns out to be 1 divided by 3 and now we are going to check uh, our this uh, x equal to 1 over 3 value for any extraneous uh, solutions so therefore i'm going to substitute this uh, x value over here wherever we see x uh, on uh, both uh, sides and then we're going to see whether the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side as you can see in this uh, next step i have uh, substituted x uh, value over here by one uh, third across the board and now if we add and simplify we can see the square root of uh, 7 divided by 3 minus 1 is going to give us uh, 4 divided by 3 and this uh, 7 divided by 3 plus 2 is going to give us uh, 13 uh, divided by 3 and likewise we did the same thing on the right hand side as well and now we can see the left hand side is indeed equal to the right hand side so therefore this is our true statement so therefore we conclude that x equals to 1 divided by 3 is our uh, indeed a valid solution and now let me share with you the second uh, approach and let's focus on these uh, both uh, sides of this uh, equation uh, very closely if I let uh, this uh, part uh, as uh, y, then this uh, could be written as uh, y plus uh, 3. Likewise, if I call this one uh, y, this could be written as uh, y plus uh, 3 as well. So, therefore, this represents a function f of y, where f of y equals to square root of y plus uh, square root of uh, y plus 3 so therefore this is going to have a one solution uh, u equals to v if and only if uh, f of u equals to f of uh, v where this uh, u is going to be equal to 7x uh, minus 1 and uh, v is going to be equal to x uh, plus 1 so therefore i can write uh, 7x uh, minus uh, 
1 equal to x plus 1. Let me go ahead and move this x on the left hand side and at the same time I'm going to move this negative 1 on the right hand side as well. So therefore we ended up with the 7x minus x equal to 1 plus 1. So therefore 6x turns out to be 2. Let's divide both sides by 6. So therefore our solution x turns out to be 1 divided by 3. So thus our only solution to this uh, equation turns out to be 1 divided by 3. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.